61A, lecture number 35, announcements. Homework 10 is to complete lab 14 by this Thursday. That's right, lab 14, this week's lab, will count as both a lab and a homework. That means you get two points of homework and it counts towards your final exam recovery point buffer that you normally get for completing labs. That means you need to complete the lab. Now, it's a good idea to actually come to lab physically in order to complete the lab. If you do that, you're guaranteed to get credit. What's more, this week is special. The lab is built in collaboration with a company called Databricks, which is created by the same people who created an open source project called Apache Spark, one of the most important projects in the space of parallel processing and big data that uh, exists in today's world. So it's a company that came out of a research project at Berkeley, and they've decided to give back to Berkeley by giving you all trial accounts uh, on their system and allowing you to run your lab on their cluster of machines. So you'll actually get a chance to run your programs across many machines instead of just one lab machine at a time. I think it's going to be quite cool. So today's lecture will tell you how to use Apache Spark and then you come to lab and try it out. The Scheme Recursive Art contest entries are due today. Please submit by emailing to art at cs61a.org. If you want to revise your ANTS project to earn back composition points, you can do that up until tomorrow. Quiz 4 will be released sometime tomorrow and is due on Thursday. The last day of live lecture will be this Wednesday. There will be no live lecture on Friday. This Wednesday I will not post videos like this one. Instead, you can watch the screencast that's posted after the event, which is usually about two days afterwards, I'll put a link, or you can actually come to live lecture which I strongly encourage because for the last 15 minutes you'll fill out a survey telling us how the course went. And we use these surveys to track how the course is going from semester to semester and collect your feedback. This Friday there will be no live lecture, but I will post a series of videos that talk about my research in natural language processing. Well, I won't tell you exactly what I would do in research, but I will show you how the very ideas that you've learned in this course apply to an area that normally people don't study until they get to graduate school. So I hope you'll find that interesting. See you soon.